Hello, my name is Keshwani. S K E S H W A N I Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our day number four. Let's see what we have for today. If you're preparing for the SAT or GRE or GMAT, these math problems are excellent preparation to sharpen, to hone your math skill. Day number four. I have a very simple, very straightforward question for you for today. The question simply is, and have some, have some faith in me, have some trust in me. Uh, when I ask you to do something, go ahead and do it, and watch the whole video before you before you make your hasty conclusion whether or not it's a good use of your time. Okay, here's the question. What is the average of 15, 17, 19, 21, and 24? Now, what I want you to do is pause the video at this point, do whatever it is that you have to do, come up with the answer that you want to come up with. Once you have your answer, you can resume the video and, and listen to and, 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 and let's do it together and listen to what I have to say. Okay? So I'm going to be quiet for a few seconds, give you a chance to pause the video and restart it and so forth. Here we go. So what did you do? Hopefully, you did listen to what I have to say, you posed it, you solved the problem, and you came up with the answer. 15 plus 17 plus 21 plus 19 plus 24 divided by 5. That's how, that's, how we are told, that's how we are told to find the average. Add up all the numbers and divide by however many numbers we have. If this was the point, if this was the bloody point of the question, I would hardly have given you this question. You already know this thing. There is nothing new here. There is nothing novel here. Novel. Let's learn that word, shall we? Let's expand our vocabulary at the same time as we are learning math. It does not hurt, as I always say, to improve one's vocabulary. Day number 13. If you want to improve your vocabulary, just type in Keshwani Prep dash vocab dash day 13 and learn this word novel and then you will figure out how I use in the context. I won't explain it to you, I'm going to leave it up to you for a little suspense. Novel, it has two meaning, obviously. One meaning everybody knows, novel, which is a book that you read. But that's not how I used it in Central just now. I said, if this is the way I want you to do the problem, there is nothing novel about it. Look up the word and learn it. Type in the tag, Kishwani Prep, dash vocab, dash day 13. Type in the tag and watch the video. Here's what, here's what, I, here's what I would have liked you to do. Here, here's what I would have liked to see you having done. To, I can't even finish my sentence. Here's what I would have liked you to see to solve the problem in the manner that I'm going to explain to you. What you have to notice is that we have 15, then we have 17, a difference of 2, then we have 19, then a difference of 2 again, then 21, another difference of 2. As long as the numbers are equally spaced, as long as, long as the numbers are equally spaced, the average is just the middle number. Now I should have not, I should not have put this brilliant statement in the middle of the blackboard because that is my prime real estate. I need that space to do my work. That was not very bright. I need to raise this area here.
Yes, I know I described that as a prime real estate, and you're having a good chuckle, I'm sure, I'm sure, but that's what that is. Because I hate working in the corner. I detest it, I abhor it. Well, let's see if I know the word. A lot of the times I know the words, I say them, but I do not know how to spell them. One of these days we're going to run this part properly, if it appears. I'm doing it right now, what I'm doing, for the benefit of those people who are who are perhaps not a native speaker, or even if you are a native speaker, you probably do not know the word. The word was a bore, which we have not covered in the past, and I'll make a note of it for myself to cover it in the future. Abhor simply means to detest, to hate. I abhor it, I detest it, I detest it, I hate it, having to work in the corner. But anyway, as long as the numbers are equally spaced, the average is just the middle. I have seen many a times, many a times, you give people a simple question and you ask them what's the average of what's the average of three, five, and seven. And they would sit there and go three plus five plus seven divided by three. They do not pick up on this concept that as long as the numbers are equally spaced as they are here, difference of 2 and difference of 2, as long as they are equally spaced, the average is 5. What's the average of 13, 15, and 17? Well, the average of 13, 15, and 17 is 15, is the middle number. What's the average of 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28? Well, again, they are equally spaced, they're, they're, they're difference of 1 everywhere. Since they are equally spaced, the average of these five numbers is 626. What's the average of these numbers? Uh, 70, 74, 78, 82. Now notice, they are equally spaced, a difference of 4 from 70 to 74, 74 to 78, 78 to 82, a difference of 4, they are equally spaced. And therefore, if you are asked what is the average of these four numbers, you do not have to do this bloody thing that I just erased, which is 70 plus 74 plus 78 plus 82 divided by 4. That will take you forever. And don't tell me that you are allowed to use the calculator, but I know that you are allowed to use calculator. Back in the old days, 20 some years ago, in 1989, when I, when I, when I went to this, this line of work, I used to work for a different firm. I wasn't working for myself. Uh, back in those days, and even up until very recently, the kids were not allowed to use the calculator or the SAT. And now they are allowed to use the calculator in the SAT and they always argue with me that why should I have to worry about all this thing, I can always use my calculator. The same thing is now true for the GRE. They, they, give, you the, they give you the small calculator on the screen that you can use with a small four function, very simple calculator with the four functions, addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. They give you that calculator on the screen. And then they will argue, well, why do I have to worry about all this thing, I can simply add them up. 70 plus 74 plus 78 plus 82 and divide by 4. Yes, you can do that, but it's a bloody waste of time. That wasn't the point. When somebody is asking you what's the average of these four numbers, they do not want to see if you can add up the four numbers and divide by four. What they want to see is, are you quick enough to tell me that since these four numbers are equally spaced, therefore the average of these four numbers is whatever falls in the middle. 76 falls in the middle. Voila, that's the average. That is the middle of the thing. This is 74, it jumps to 78, and since we have even number of numbers, see here we have odd number of numbers, we have 5 numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. When you have odd number of numbers, it's very easy to look at the middle number. Here we have 3 numbers, 1, 2, 3, odd number of numbers, the middle number is very simple to locate, but when we have even number of numbers, the average is the middle of the middle two numbers, is the midpoint of the middle two numbers. Here, 74 to 76, the midpoint is 76, that's the average of these four numbers. And if you don't believe me, do it out on a calculator and you will verify it, that in fact the average of 70, 74, 78 and 82 is in fact 76. Let's do this problem. I really do need to raise this statement here because it's bugging the hell out of me. I cannot work like that. Uh, so I need to raise it. One more time I'm going to uh, read it to you before I raise it. As long as the numbers are equally spaced, the average is just the middle number. As I showed you three examples here. Well, the problem is that these five numbers that they're given to us, they are not equally spaced. They are not equally spaced. 15 to 17 is 2, 17 to 19 is 2, 17 to 21 is 2, and then 21 to 
plus 2 is 23. Had it been 23 instead of 24, had it been, had it been, it's a hypothetical statement, had it been 23, the average would have been 19. But it's not 23, it is 24. It is one more than that. 24, it is 24, it's not 23, it is one more than that. Had it been 23, the average would have been 19. But because we have one more and we have five people, we need to divide that extra one dollar among the five people. Instead of 19 dollars, everybody guess 19 dollars and 20 cents. Voila. That's your average. 19 and one fifth. 19.2 if you wish. For those of you who are still hell bent on doing the calculator, do not do the calculator. Even when the calculator is allowed, as I always tell my students when I'm teaching them face to face, just because the calculator is allowed, calculator is not a substitute for a brain. It is a machine. It's not people people forget about that and they start using calculator as crutches and they depend on it. It's always a good idea to use your own brain. Now please do not ask me why I have this uncontrollable urge, urges rather, to break into sermons like that. I do not know. But that is what I do. That is my forte. Oh, that was a good word. Let's learn it. Forte. It's a French word, but of course it's used in English language, which means the strong point. Something that you something that you're good at. Forte. And if you're, if you're lousy at something, or if you're bad at something, or something is your weak point, something is your weakness, that will be described as your foible. Or the good word, which we have not covered before, we're going to learn in the future. Foible and future. Uh, foible and, not foible and future, foible and forte. I just put them in my list, we'll cover them in the future. Anyway, that was the end for today. It turned out to be a very long video, even though it was a simple problem. I hope you found it useful, I hope you got something out of it, and next time when somebody gives you an average problem, do not jump in it like a, like a madman, or mad woman for that matter, which will be fine with me, if the madman, oh never mind, I was going to say if the madness is of certain kind, but that's, we won't go there. Anyway, so that's it, if you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring, for GRE, GMAT, or SAT, go to any of these website addresses and send me an email, or you can go to kashwaniprep.com and send me an email or you can and you can send me an email from there as well. Alright? Thank you.